Hey, what's up guys? It's Uncle Zonky and welcome to episode 15 and man do I look nice. I actually managed to finally convince myself that it was a good idea to spend a little bit of money on bonds just to improve the look a little bit and hey, I think it worked. Also, new PC came in. So this is the first video on the new PC as well, which means that, well, RS is going to be a little bit weird because this is the first time I've visited all the areas and the cage is not on this PC, obviously. So. RS will have to like load everything for the first time, so it'll be a little bit of a rocky ride. Okay, first Slayer task on the new PC. Let's go for it. Hopefully it's something good. Calgs, 97 of them. That is going to be a long task, but all right. I mean, I can live with that. Um, one of the better XP rates in the entire game. You just absolutely tear them when you, when you have Tier 90 Mage. Before Tier 90 Mage, well, that task is awful. But after Tier 90 Mage, it's an amazing task, really good XP. Looking forward to it. Farm run first, though. Well, I managed to pick myself up an Onyx. Are those under 1 mil yet? Well, just about. Maybe they will be soon, considering the only thing they're really useful for now is Hydrixes, and not a whole lot of people are using them. Anyway, this task is horrible. When you don't have Supreme Runic Accuracy active, I brought it, and I activated it, but then I had to go and do stuff in real life, and now it's not active, and it's horrible. Oh my goodness, that task took a really long time. Because it's Calgary and Demons, and also because, well, I was not using my aura. I was using the Penance aura, in fact, but I was not using the Runic Accuracy aura, so I was splashing quite a bit, and it kind of sucked. However, I'm going to try to withdraw all the stuff that I used during, well, all the loot that I gained during this task and price check it all and see how much I made. Okay, this should be everything that I got during the task, and I did manage to get myself that... Uncut Onyx, of course, that adds a nice little amount. Only 84 blue charms wasn't as much as I was expecting with 99 calgs, but about 3.2 mil ish, um, and that was only in about an hours of work. So that's really not that bad. They're really not bad money if you're on task and have that tier 90 mage, you can hit them pretty well. Sad. I planted this thing when Elf City was just released, and it's still not grown. It's been like three days, and the other tree still isn't grown. I don't know what it takes to make this thing grow. I mean, I even super composted it. Obviously what's happened is it's just gotten diseased several times and then I paid the guy so he's uh, repaired it, but that's why it's taking so long to grow. That must be the only explanation. It's just kind of weird how long elder trees take to grow. This is crazy. No one's going to actually plant these for farming XP. These are worse than spear trees. New task time. How about some elves? I still have a few elves left to kill for comp cape back. Or automatons, I am not going to argue with that either. I'm going to be meleeing this one, these ones this time. would be really cool if I got gloves, but I just got them last time, so I'm not expecting that. But I will have to get all the gloves eventually, so maybe I'll be able to get that now that I have this task preferred. I'm hoping that this guy assigns automatons a little bit more often than Curadel did, because they're kind of rare from her. 98 automatons later, we are done with this task. And if it annoyed you that I said it that way, I apologize, but that's the way it is sometimes. And a little bit over 1 mil made per task, kind of nice, since I'm getting assigned more automatons now than I was, you know, with Curdell. I'll be making a bit more from these tasks. Hopefully I can get Elves. I have been hearing their amazing Slayer XP. They give like 600 XP drops, which is ridiculous because they're so fast to kill. And uh, that's what I got my fingers crossed for task-wise. I imagine that'll probably get nerfed, just like how Muzpas were nerfed. What? Yeah, I don't really know when they got assigned as a task, but a couple months ago, fairly recently... Yeah, they're nerfed within like a week or so, so probably will happen to elves too, but we will see. Anyway, get a task from our buddy Morren. Hello, gargoyles. Okay, well, there is a task that is waiting for the block list. First one on the block list with Morren. I realize gargoyles are great XP, but they're boring. Eretz, that is a task that I'm definitely going to do. Haven't had an Eretz task in a while. At least Morren doesn't give me Eretz every other task like Curdle used to, because even though it's a great task, it got boring. Well, the Eris task has been completed at this point, and uh, there's a guy actually safe spotting ranging them. That's a little bit weird. That's a really it's a slow way to do the task, man. Uh, but we're going to go back to Morvan. We actually don't go to Curdle anymore. I almost went back to Curdle, and then I realized, hey, wait a second. We've graduated on from her at this point. Only bad thing about Eric tasks for Morvan is I can't do them without banking at least once because I'm just assigned... Too many Eretz, and my Yak cannot keep up with the banking the bones, and it's not really an option for me to leave the bones on the ground. Black Demons, uh, not a task I'm entirely excited about, but it's 2-3-4. Those are like 
numbers that come after each other in real life. But uh, let's go ahead and head to Taverly and do the Black Demon's task. It's okay. It's not the best XP. It's probably one of the worst Slayer XP rate tasks that I'm willing to still do. About like 115k an hour, which might not sound bad at all to you, but when you're slain with kind of tier 90 weapons and uh, 99 all stats, you can typically get rates faster than that with a lot of the tasks. But uh, I'll do it. I mean, it's not really a bad enough task to put on the block list, I don't feel. Alright guys, I just finished off my Glacier's task, and I gotta say, I was using this uh, Most Wanted card on the Glacier's task. Little bit overrated, it does say it improves their uh, rare drops. I did get some rare drops, I got uh, 4 Grimy Renars, very rare, a Dragonstone, quite rare, and uh, 100 Silver War. And I also got uh, 1 Shard of Armadillo the entire task as well, so I think what it really does is it makes your rare drops less common. I'm telling you guys, one day, those steads are going to happen. It's taken its sweet time, but let's get another assignment. Glacors again? What? You can get black-to-back -back Glacors? Did I get that because I have a Most Wanted card in my inventory? Uh, possibly. If not, that's a little weird. I had no idea you could get two tasks that are exactly the same back-to-back, -back, but hey, back to Glacors, sure. Okay, so we finished off the Glacier's task, and my Glacier's Most Wanted card is now gone forever. Didn't wind up paying out with anything, but from what I've heard from other people that have gotten the cards, they're not really guaranteed to get you anything special. So maybe it's just like a collector's insignia, kind of boosts your rare drop chance by a little bit, but not a whole lot. And uh, we got 100 points from our 10th task in realm. So used to seeing that Curdle's 90 points, the 100 points popped almost like, what? What happened there? Uh, anyway, let's grab another task, and hopefully it's something good. Hopefully it won't be Glacers again, because I already got Glacers back-to-back, -back, and, you know, as awesome as Glacers are, and as weird as it is getting a task back-to-back, because you're not supposed to, Elves, uh, Glacers again? I have honestly no idea what's going on here. I haven't edited this video in any way, and I've gotten back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Glacor tasks, so maybe the preferred task system is a little bit glitchy at the moment. Oh my goodness, it finally happened! 9k Glacier kills without a stats. Well, like 8.7k actually, but almost 9k Glacier kills, and I got stats. I've been waiting for so long. Oh, they're only 13.6 mil. Ah, uh, still, very nice though. I finally, finally got them. Well, that was a good task. I feel a lot better now made some bonk with these uh, steadfast boots and finally that's another creature that i have done with obtaining all the drops from i'm now done with glacers i've had i think two glavens and four rage fires along with these steads what's up man are you gonna give me another glacier task i'm gonna call glacers um let's see if this is gonna happen dark bees Oh, I was actually going to grab my Mask of Gloom, and I just remembered after I pressed get another task, I was like, oh, I need to do Dark Beast. Well, you know what? We got our Dark Beast task. This is unfortunately only my second Dark Beast task, but I can use my Mask of Gloom after this one, so that will be three, and then I'll only need two more, and then I'll have Comp Cake back. I meant to grab a Dark Beast task, my previous task, but when I went to Morvran, I forgot to put on the Helm of Darkness, and of course, when you're not wearing the Helm of Darkness, he won't assign you a Dark Beast task. Well... I guess he can assign you Dark Beast tasks, but he won't guarantee to assign you one. But I'm going to remember to put it on this time. Waterfiend's task went pretty well. You know, 193 Crimsons. I will be doing summoning during the bonus XP weekend, and I'll hopefully get in, like, around 150 mil summoning XP. Not just during the bonus XP weekend, but total. I should be getting a ton of summoning because I have a lot of charms, and I'll be doing a lot of Slayer before bonus XP weekend. So lots and lots of charms are going to happen. But let's grab another one. Also 26 blue charms. I did do Bork as well while I was there, which definitely helped. So Dark Beast 281. Wow, that is a lot of Dark Beast. But um, after this, I will have two tasks left, and then I will have Comp Cake back. Another Dark Beast task down. Two more to go until Comp Cake back. But I'm not really looking forward to it as much as I thought I'd be. Yes, the Comp Cape has amazing stats, but this 120 HP cape is kind of growing on me a little bit. Doesn't really match the gilded armor that well and i'm hoping that i can recolor the comp cape so that it does but uh i also forgot to do my farming run today I just now realized that i got to do that quick so that my magic tree will be finished growing by the time it's a uh, time for the night farming run i try to do two magic tree runs a day because that's pretty good xp and uh, i don't do fruit trees anymore so that means i can just do the full magic tree run all at once and it's pretty nice cresses automatons what a good task. Thank you, sir. I'm pretty happy about that. And then hopefully the uh, next task will be Dark Beast. And thank you to uh, Stranger God. He seems really happy to see me. Fair enough, man.
That was an incredibly fast task. Automatons just seem to fly by, but unfortunately it's over now. Which sucks because automatons are one of my most favorite tasks, and also I'm uh, really looking forward to getting myself another pair of pneumatic gloves. It's been a long time since I meleeed automatons. I've been ranging them lately, and luckily I got those ranged gloves pretty quickly, so hopefully the uh, melee gloves will come within a few tasks as well. So I need either a Dark Beast task or an Elves task. Again, I still do have... Oh, I still need to harvest my crystal tree. I still do have a few elves left to kill for Comp Cave. Not very many, but just a couple. And one elves task should more than be enough. So let's go for either one of those two. Come on. Dagonos, I will be canceling that. I do not have the uh, willpower to do DKs today. I don't think I'm going to block it, but I will cancel it. Um, one thing is you can set the uh, max cape citadel thing uh as a portal to dagon's kings and it makes it a lot easier to get there but abbey demons fairly decent i'm gonna go harvest my crystal tree then kill them for a while wow guess what guys you know how i reset my abyssal helm and it gives double drops i just got dual abyssal orbs wow i think they're only worth like a couple hundred k yeah 280k but still getting two of them in one drop that's pretty sick Still kind of in awe of uh, getting those two abyssal orbs, but really great task. As long as you're turmoiling, even though dark light, wow, the accuracy is bad. It's only like 316 accuracy, but with turmoil and the Slayer Helm bonus and extreme attacks, you can still hit every time, but you have to have all that stuff. Otherwise, it's probably better using dual drag ores here because of the bad accuracy. Now that I added those Abyssal Orbs to my Slayer tab, I think I have about just every Slayer unique drop, other than stuff like the uh, Demon Slayer full set. Full set, I don't have that, and I don't have the Ascension Grips either. But other than that, I have just about every single drop that you can get from Slayer monsters that are unique to those Slayer monsters. Obviously not counting stuff like Armadillo, but that's not really a Slayer monster. have gotten all the TDs drops and uh, Glacier drops, though, so that's really cool, because... They are Slayer creatures now, and I will be price checking this whole tab pretty soon, probably in just a couple minutes, but at the end of this episode, so I'm pretty hyped for that. This thing is going to be worth a lot. How about another Dark Beast test? That would be great. Oh, Ganos. Okay, is that on my prefer list already? It is not, so that's another prefer task on the list. Only two more to go. No, just prefer Ganodermics. I do not want to have... Uh, like Grifola Ruse on there. That would be pretty awful. So the only ones that I still yet have on here on the prefer list are TDs and Nihils. And then that will be my full prefer list. But you can look at that. I've had a lot of people asking me, what's your prefer list? Well, it's Water Fiends, Automatons, Celestials, Glacors, Ganos, and then it will be TDs and Nihils on there as well as soon as I get those tasks. Oh yeah, done with the task. And I think I learned this task and it might be a good idea in the future to bring a yak because my inventory got really crowded and I had to drop these Ganodermic gloves, man. Those are like 3k. Really hurt dropping those. But let's price check everything in the inventory and uh, not include the air runes, which are mine. And 1.6 mil made this task. That's actually really decent money. Also, I need to buy some more air runes. I had like 100k just a week or two ago. And I'm going through them really fast. Somewhat due to Slayer, but mostly due to the Viswax machine. Well, I think the Viswax actually did one good thing in terms of runes. It made body runes really expensive. They won't even buy for 28 GP. I use them because the only runes I use for the Viswax are the four elemental runes, body, mind, and chaos. And if I can't get the full 100 Viswax from those, I say screw it. Because if you use some of the more expensive runes, you can actually end up losing money or pretty much breaking even with the Viswax. So I'd rather only profit. Um, otherwise, there's no point. You might as well just buy the Viswax. So let's get another task. Dark Bees. How about it? Elves. Okay, that's perfect. I think I actually might be favoriting this one because, uh, at least for the moment, they are super legit and OP. Um, but I will be uh, favoriting elves for now. And if they get nerfed, I'll take them off the prefer list. And what should I take off the prefer list and have elves in instead? Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to not prefer Nihils when I eventually get that task, um, at least until elves get nerfed. If they get nerfed, I'm not really sure if it's going to happen or not. It's not guaranteed. They might just stay a really good XP Slayer task forever, for all that I know. Um, but 150 elves should take like half an hour, and it's going to be really good Slayer XP too. 1948 tasks in a row after that one, and also I managed to unlock the Of the Kedarn title, if I can find it, and I'm sure it's in here somewhere. It's uh, of the elves. Of the elves is in here. Cardarn? I guess it's not in there, but take my word for it. I unlocked it. 
So if I go to my comp cape now and try to equip it, the only thing that should be left is of the Ioworth. Not really sure how you should be saying that, but it's the one where you have to do five Dark Beast tasks, and I'm currently on three. So I have two more to go, and then I should have uh, my comp cape back. Apparently I also have to connect the Prifdenas spirit tree with her brethren, which is something I've already done, but I guess it doesn't register. So I'll go talk to her in just a second, but first we need to get a new task. For us to start off the next episode with because it is indeed time to price check the tab it's been a while it's been like five episodes and probably i don't know 70 80 tasks ish gano creature awesome kind of was hoping for dark beast but i'm not gonna uh be upset with ganos either so i'll go talk to the spirit tree and after that i'm going to price check this tab and who knows maybe we'll be pretty close to one bill Okay, so for this rendition of the Slayer Tab price check, what I decided to do was just withdraw it inventory by inventory and price check it all the old-fashioned way. In episode 10, I used a website that has a log maker where you can create your own tab and just type everything in there and it price checks everything for you. However, a couple of the prices of some of the more expensive items on there are a little bit off, so I decided to just do it the old-fashioned way in this video. And I added it all together, and unfortunately, um, not all of this stuff is actually from Slayer. The majority is from Slayer. I'd say probably about 85% of what you'll be seeing through here is through Slayer. However, I have been doing some PVM off of Slayer task as well, and I do have all that stuff written down. I just did not do the math to actually remove everything that is not from Slayer from this tab. Um, but I will do that eventually when I sell the tab. I will not sell the stuff that's from PVM and from the Condemned to PVM series. So it's not going to be worth as much as you see here. Um, however, after price checking everything, it's not quite at one bill yet. We're at 893 mil, which is really good. And I'm guessing probably about 700 to 750 mil of that is from Slayer. So I will still have a good amount to sell. Hopefully by the time bonus XP weekend rolls around, it will be one build from Slayer alone. But this is by far the most high value tab I've ever had in my bank, other than like a gear tab, of course, the most high value drops tab I've ever had in my bank. So that's pretty hype. And you can see some of the stuff in there, like 29 mil worth of Onyx bolts. Most of those are not from Slayer, although I did get uh, a couple Onyx bolts during Slayer, but the vast majority of them are from like Araxor and Nyx and Calphite King and Virago and stuff like that. Um, and a lot of the herbs and seeds are from PVM as well, but all of that will be removed from the tab and put in its own separate tab when this tab is sold. The other thing that I wanted to say is I will not be reaching 120 Slayer by the bonus XP weekend. I'll probably be around between 95 to 100 mil Slayer by the bonus XP weekend. I'm just going to sell the tab because it's not worth losing a potential 100 to 200 mil um, just for the last few Slayer XP by stubbornly keeping the tab. Yes, I wanted to get a 120 Slayer tab done uh, and sell it all loot from 120 Slayer. However, some stuff that's coming up in real life, I've been busier lately and I just have not been able to have as much time on the PC to slay as I used to be able to and because of that I'm not going to get 120 Slayer within the next month but i will come close and i will be able to sell the tab then and then i'll finish off the last 5 10 mil slayer xp whatever it is uh, and have its own tab uh, along with that and that'll probably just add to the pvm tab anyway that's about all for this video guys so thank you a lot for watching i'll see you guys next episode which should be coming out in like three or four days and farewell